opening of it. So my first look, I'm very excited. Let's see who's in our break. We have Francisco A with one spot, Jason S with one spot, John G with three spots, Justin J with one spot, and then Ryan Y with two. Let's grab our colors here. On over here, dice roll, roll it nine times on the colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Colorless on top, blue on the bottom. What's up, Jimmy? Not yet. All right, let's grab our names here. Dice roll, roll it. 11 times on the names. Good luck, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. Uh, Corey, if you want, uh, if we have a little bit of time after this group break, we can definitely do your personal. Uh, give me about like 20-ish minutes and I should be able to get through this. Uh, paste that over here. New. That's the only, like, everything else, uh, new releases. Broken, yes. All right. John G has black and blue. Justin J with colorless. Ryan Y with green and land slash token. John G with multicolor. Francisco A with red. And Jason S with white. Come over here. All right. Let's, uh, let's get right into this, guys. So, like I said, this is my first opening. I've already seen some really cool stuff. All right, well, if it does sell out before I leave. I got you. I'll, I'll let you know. Back I'll let you know. I drafted last night. It was a fun time. Did you, uh, at the draft, did anybody get any of the uh, showcase? Zero showcase. Zero showcase? Uh, Yoda's, Yoda and... 450, I know. Hey, Yoda's about 500. General Grievous is also five. Grievous is, like, super weird. And then Anakin's at 475. Did you read Grievous's ability? I have not. It's like super bizarre. All right, I'll take a look at it after. You're good. All right. All right we have the Scion of the Deep. If you guys know, this is Japanese. They were made in Japan. So uh, the rares are at the front. Gleaming barrier, sure strike. The felling blow. Uh, Clinquint mage. We have the twin blade blessing. Pyrian eagle. There is our forest. Lunar insights on the rare. Our card for each different mana value among non-land permanents you control. Interesting. Bloodthirsty Conqueror. This is a great card. Uh, if you, this card is going to see a lot of play in all formats. Flying Death Touch whenever an opponent loses life. It, it is... It, it is uh, no different than... Uh, re realistically, it is a... Uh, oh my god, why can't I think of it right now? Blood Artist. Yeah, it's 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 basically a blood artist, but it's a creature. Uh, whenever a blood artist or another creature dies, uh, yeah, whenever an opponent loses life, or not not a uh, not blood artist. What's the card I'm thinking of right now? Uh, someone will someone will say it to me, and I'll remember. There's our guy. There's my king. There is my king. All right, good start. There is my king. Banner of Kinship. And oh, Alesha. What a great Alesha as well. On the uh, mana foil. Alesha who laughs at fate. What a great card. What a great card. Nice Alesha there. Good start. Good first pack there for us.
Okay. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. She laughs at fate. She laughs at fate. Stroke of Midnights. Exsanguinates. Overrun. Got our planes. Dracuseth. Maw of Flames. Fun card. Scavenging Ooze. We love our oozes. The Sky Knight Squire. Kiker. Kiker Zephyr Awakener. And. Oh my. Okay. Okay, we got a Japanese card. Oh my goodness, that is incredible. Holy. Oh, sweet Jesus. Holy. Holy sweet Jesus. Yes, that is very rare. That is very rare. Oh my God. Anthony. We got a Japanese card. That's is that that's the uh, the demon. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The... God, do I not remember what that's called? Uh, God, that Niv Borderless is a hundred. Yeah, what is this card called? Bloodthirsty Conqueror, right? What that? Bloodthirsty Conqueror. Yeah, thank you. I could not think of what that was called. Vampire Knights. Yeah. I'm okay. Gonna, I'm gonna come join you. I'm gonna run over that. Okay. That is that is sick. Bloodthirsty Knights. Or Bloodthirsty Conqueror, excuse me. On the Japanese. Not the fractured foil, but it is the uh, Japanese print. That is sick. That is really sick. Wow. That is. This has been a great box to start. This has been a really good box to get us started. Yeah, that's a nice hit. Who has black? Uh, who has black? Uh, John G. Nice hit, man. Helpful Hunter. Got another nice card there that's going to be a flicker. You have a way to bounce stuff back to your hand, which there's plenty of. Scoured Barons. This is from uh, Amonkhet. That art. Cat Collector. Frenzied Goblin. Reclamations, Reclamation Sage. Another great card there. Forest. Electro Duplicates. The Arc Mage of Ruins. Soulstone Sanctuary. Oh, there we go. There we go. The Sire of Seven Deaths. This this card is going for about 120. I'm the kicker. Okay. PG, we PG, we got your one piece in here. Uh when we uh when we get to it at some point today. Or we could do it tomorrow. It's up to you. We could do it today, or we could do it tomorrow. It's your choice. Uh, the Sire of Seven Deaths is about a $120 card. Very, this, this has been a great start. And Kellen, Planer Trailblazer. Yeah, we could do it. It doesn't matter to me. We could do it today. We could do it tomorrow. PG, whatever works best for you, my friend. I didn't mean to be. If I was yelling, I do apologize. I was not meaning to.
Shivan, Shivan Dragon. What a throwback. Hey, we got our J's on. Swift Boot Boots. Got the J's on. There's our swamp with Lily. So then scavenging. Robo. Uh, fun fact, this is actually... Shred is a divorce paper paperwork. Mmm. And they returned... And they returned the baby. That's tough. Celestial armor. Uh, fun fact about a Robo. Uh, if you're playing Commander one-on-one, -on -one, it is then an illegal deck. Spinner of Souls. And the Sky Knight Squire. Oh, the reason for that is because cats in one-on-one -on -one, uh, is uncontrollable, fun fact. It is very uncontrollable in a one-on-one -on -one situation. So it is an illegal commander deck for one-on-one. -on -one. So technically, if in a commander game, uh, you get it down to just one-on-one, -on -one, you win off of a technicality. There's four of you. Armor Sword Guide. Witness Protection. Infestation Sage. Wary Thespian. Eaten Alive. Needle Tooth Pack. Inspiration from Beyond. Secluded Courtyard. The Youthful Valkyrie. Should be our land. It is. Mountain. Rexian Arena. Great card. That is a staple card. Uh, Alondra, or Alenda, I should say. Saint of Dusk. There's a Kiker. On the Awakener. Anthem of Champions. Just solid, just like we got the we got the Eldrazi. Oh, that's we we've had a really good start, and we got the Niv. This is a hundred dollar uh, card. Niv that can go Niv's infinite. Dollars. Yes, uh, Niv Mizzet that can go infinite off of Niv Mizzet. <laughs> yeah, this Niv can go off infinite off of uh, other Niv Mizzet. This is my favorite card in the set. Okay, that's fair. Have we gotten the planes yet? Oh, there's the uh, Liliana Swamp. Yeah, there's too. the Lily. There's the Lily Swamp. And it, oh, look at the we got a beautiful fish token too. It's a good fish. Oh, we got the Nuka Penna. Yep. Planes. Okay, we need yep. the other planes. I did see the other planes with, uh, okay. with. It's uh, a Johnny, Johnny, right? Yeah, Johnny. sitting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, the uh, the mountain with the horse riding in it is not Chandra because there is a different mountain with Chandra. With Chandra. Yes. Okay. So I'm, I'm trying to think of who that is. A rat. Crypt Easter. The Courageous Goblin. Want to hop in for the second half? Sure. First yeah, Lightning. You had, had me in the first half. Not yeah. The yeah, yeah. Seeker's Folly. The Grappling Kraken. Meteor Golem. I mean, fun card to just ruin everyone's day. Reclamation Sage. It's a forest. I don't know who's on the forest. That one I have not figured out. Is someone in this forest? Is that loot? I think it's loot. No. All right, Cure the Rising Tide. Kiker. Someone else. <laughs> One of us. Giada. That's going to be an interesting card to have in standard for five years. 
Giada, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Interesting card to have yeah. there. I love Anthem of Champions. So sick. Twin, I love Twin Flame Tyrant, Great Dragon. Great art. Great yeah. art as well. Who's the artist on that? That is Justin Gerard. I know. So they went back. I don't know if you saw some of the stories of this set. They went back and... Um, oh, let's go. Natalia. Uh, yeah. Sweet. Uh, another interesting <laughs> card that'll be in standard for five years. Another fun card that'll be that'll be in standard for five years. Uh, so I don't know if you saw some of the story with the set, but um, they went basically went back in their archive of like unused artwork from like years and years ago, and actually ended up like using some of it. That's cool. So there's art that's like 20 years old that they they okay. up for that's this. Okay, that's sick. I, I, really cool. A tally. That's a nice one. That's a sweet tally. There you go. Six. All right. All right. We have how many breaks left? Three? Oh, yeah. oh my lord. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're only halfway through. We're in for the long haul here. Oh, yeah. Love it. Love that six of these sold out. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. That is absolutely incredible. I want to say here. Hmm. We'll, we'll go through them. Is this the basic? That's a sweet of braid. We'll, we'll go. Oh, man. I was way off. All right. There's the basic. Okay. So, yeah. There's the Chandra Mountain. Yeah, there's the Chandra one. Very clearly Kaladesh. Very cool. Six and Veil. That's a braid. Super sweet. I like that they're just giving us a braid now. Pretty cool. Eh, ah, let's leave it. Sure. That's in what I've been doing with, like, those uh, the little, uh, borderless ones. Imprisoned in the Moon Downshift. Yeah. This used to be a rare. Yeah. Dreadwing Scavenger. Sweet. Really like that card. Dragon Highlands. Campus Guide. Monkey Pirates back. Oh, yeah. Monkey goblins, they're monkey goblins, monkey goblins. I love Aegis Turtle. One minute, oh five. Who doesn't? Who doesn't love Aegis Turtle? All right. Let's do this. All right. First of all, I mean, come on. Oh yeah. Cat spirit. We have celestial I like armor. Arabo's in here too. What? Arabo. Oh yeah. Celestial armor. Technically uh, a legal commander if you play one on one. Sure. It is. Yeah, the other one was too. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Celestial armor. Uh, cool equipment. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Maul the Sky Clays. Oh, baby. Oh, we got Progenitus. Oh, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Who's got multi? Is this is this number three, right? Yep. John G. John G. I. So he also had black. So he got that Japanese card earlier. Nice. I, I love Progenitus. Progenitus is one of the coolest. Arts. Uh, yeah, that's a crap ton of energy, it's, but it's it, it. As someone who loves magic art, it's one of my favorite yeah. parts of the game. S tier, absolutely yeah, S tier. No. This is one of the first magic cards I ever saw where I went. I want even to play the this alternate game. art for this card is really sick in this set. There's just something so nostalgic again about like it's so it's that, but it's also that uh, theme of just you can cosmic see how horror. Big a like thing it's is. so look like yeah. it, oh you can my see god, how big a thing I love. Is. Progenitus. Yeah, it does cost white, white, blue, blue, black, black, yeah, red, 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 blue, green, green. Sure. Yeah, a little bit. That's fine. Protection from everything. Yes. Love Progenitus. Super sweet. Yeah. I don't own one. I will now be able to own one for pretty cheap, and I'm very excited yeah. for that. And play it in standard. Like, yeah. Somehow. Yeah, you'll be able to play that in standard, which is wild. Yeah. Uh, people have, like, you know, been talking about, like, potential reanimation target or, like, a, oh, yeah. like a cheated in from the deck kind oh, of thing. Oh, yeah. Easily. So, I'm in. Sweet. I will not be in when I lose to it. But I'm in. <laughs> we have I think if you lose to it, you just kind of excited. Like, that's it's cool. progenitus. Like, yeah, yeah that's like, cool. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, we have Archmage of Runes. High Society Hunter. And art black and homunculus horde. Whenever you draw your second card, you sure and create a, to a token that's a copy of we this creature. We did also get one of my uh, favorite cards from the set, Bloodthirsty Conqueror. Bloodthirsty Conqueror. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, very good cards. Nice. What, these packs feel like heavy. I noticed that too. I noticed that too when I was picking them up. All right, what is it like? Ten cards on? One, two, three, four. Nice. Okay. Look at you. So, yeah. Who is? On I don't that? know. It's Kellen. Oh, that you would can make see. Sense. You can see like the gun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's Kellen. Sense. He is. I know he is in this set. Yeah, that's Kellen. We okay. pulled him earlier. Yeah, that's Kellen yeah, on the mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. 
Yep. Okay, that makes sense. Yep. Uh, that makes that makes total sense. We have goblin borders. Split the skulls and split the spoils. Uh, best card that. in the set. Strix lookout. Best card in the set. I, I love the uh, flavor. Little goggles. <laughs> I love the flavor text. Yeah, he's great. Wise, watchful, rational. Uh, easy inclusion into birds. Fair. It will that's, be in the deck. No, that's fair. Uh, these little goggles. Yeah. I love this guy. All right. Vampire Soul Caller. Crazy right. card to have in standard for five years. That's wild. Yeah. Speaking of wild. Mana Dork. Dragon Trainer. Pretty cool. Uh, Hardfire Emulator is pretty cool. And Adventuring Gear. We have the Cat. Cat. Sure. Cat, Cat. Double Cat. Cat, Cat. High Society Hunter again. Valkyrie's Call. Remember, non token, non angel creature control dies. Return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control with a 1 1 counter on it. If it's flying and it is an angel, it's additional. Okay, that's cool. Sure. This says Raise the Past. Oh, this card's cool. Like, uh, you ever want a Mass Luris? <laughs> 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 Probably sees play somewhere. Probably a pretty good card. Banner of Kinship. Uh oh. We have our. Uh, our logo foil here. That's our second one, then. I've raised the past. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, that's our second one. Those are cool. That's our second one because we got uh, we got Alesha uh, as our first one earlier. Okay. So, yeah, that's our second. These uh, are cool. Logo foil. I, I, I like the logo foil. Logo really foil cool. raised the past. That's cool. All right. So this should be our basic. We got the Liliana Swamp. I want a panorama of all the uh, classic walker swamps. Except, or the classic walker, like, lands Arts, from this. Yeah. Except I wish it wasn't Kaito. Yeah. Like, no, like, I don't... Make it Jace. I don't mind Kaito or Teferi. Or Teferi. Yeah, Either one of those fair. is fine. But, like... Is Teferi... Teferi's in the set? No. Oh, it's Tyler's Jace. Yeah. But, like... I, I think they just wanted to go with the planeswalkers who are in the set. I know, but I'm, like I'm just saying, like you know, we have Liliana. I guess Vivian's like not like a classic one, but like yeah, Kaito's fair. like new, you know. Yeah, Kaito's fairly new. Like Vivian, we've had for a while. Pilfer, look at him. <laughs> Tiny bones. Wardens of the cycle. This art's fantastic. Yep. Great art. Vengeful blood witch. This yeah, is they, a blood they've artist. been uh, they've been doing really good with their arts. Of course, the sets. they always have. Yeah. No, that's fair. Always have. They have their goblin. All right. Yeah, the goblin zombie token. There we go. Hey. We got him. We got our boy. Got Tiny bones bubble burglar. Got the basic art. We got the uh I saw the other one. Earlier. Yeah, earlier. I saw the one earlier. I, I, I kinda like this art more, honestly. I just love Tiny Bones. I just love Tiny Bones as well. One of my favorite in universe characters for sure. I, I love that they've really started to add more of his yep. cards and stuff. I agree. Exemplar of light. Uh, oh nice Alenda. Hexproof from instance is kind of a wild thing. That, to put yeah, on a card. that is. <laughs> that is crazy. Hexproof from instance is kind of nuts. Like the rest of this card isn't like amazing, but hexproof hexproof from instance is really yeah. good. Uh, any other uh, good black white uh, vampires? Sprawling crawler. Was that sarcastic? Uh, no. Oh, black white specifically? Yes. Uh, there's the Edgar from Crimson Vow. Yep. That's the Lord that turns into the coffin. There's the, uh, Soren. Is what sure. I was referring to. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Soren is going. Uh, Drake to. Hatcher. I like Drake Hatcher. I like Drake Hatcher. Cool card. I'm not calling these out. I'm doing a terrible job here. All right. Oh, here you go. There's the Johnny Plains. He's just chilling. He's just, just watching chilling. the sunset. Burglar Rat. I love Burglar Rat. Rat. Love, love, love Burglar Rat. Oh, Think Twice. Not bad. It's cool. Let's see. Think Twice. Classic card to have back. Pretty cool. Savannah Lion. Speaking of classic cards that are back in standard. A Braid. Nice one to have. We got the Raccoon Elf Warrior. Sure. There's Crystal Barricade. You have Hexproof. My favorite card in the set, Anthem of Champions. My favorite card in the set is not Tiny Bones. This is Genesis Wave. Genesis oh, Wave. That's such a For the top X cards of your library, put any number of permanents from the end of X on them. 
I know it's like a reprint. I just haven't read it in a while. Uh, Zul Asher Lich Lord. Zombies. Lord pay two life. I put to cast a zombie from your graveyard. That's pretty cool. And Kaito, nice. Okay. It's a sweet Kaito there. That's a raccoon. I, I do really like his little raccoon guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Kaito, cunning infiltrator on the anime art. Nice Kaito there. We'll take that. Blue is John G. John G. We have two packs to go. Uh, Max didn't miss too much. Just been uh, opening up some magic. So this has got to be Giada on this. I think so. Yeah, yeah. you can see. Her. I think she's right there. Yeah. yeah. One of my least favorite planes. Uh, one of the better, newer common and uncommons from this set. One of the better Refute. new cards. Refute is pretty good. Mine ends elite. Pretty cool reprint. This card's pretty interesting. Essence scatter. Good to have. Resembling skeletons. Fun card. There's the fish again. Fish in the ferry. All right. We have Ashroot Animist. Oh, Thousand Year Storm. Downshift. I didn't realize this was a rare now. Thousand Year Storm. That is Ashroot Animist, the full art. Fuller Ashroot Animist. That is Sphinx of Forgotten Lore. Pretty interesting new card. Sphinx of Forgotten Lore. And. Oh, this is Coma. Oh, yeah, the new Coma, Coma World Eater. The first 812 in Magic's history. One of my favorite cards. Some called him a monster, others called him a god. All who beheld him knew his power. So I think Coma died in the. Uh, he did. Yeah, in the Phyrexian invasion. He did. Rest in peace, Coma. Because uh, you can see him there in the background of the art, you can actually see the uh, world tree. Yes. Yes, he did indeed. There's the Vivian Forest. There's the Raccoon Elf again. Not as good as OG Coma, but still very good. There we go. The uh, Boros Art Refute. That's pretty cool. Bacon to a Pie. I love Bacon to a Pie. Banishing Light. Goblin Surprise. Quick Strider Ceratops. Brineborn Cutthroat. Youthful Valkyrie. That's a nice one. Youthful Valkyrie. And Seismic Rupture. Youthful Valkyrie, I think, was only printed as one of the, like, uh special set booster like exclusive cards way back when like it wasn't in the yeah, actual yeah, yeah. like set list so you couldn't like draft it um did i do this already oh, i think i did no extravagant replication we have spinner of souls i think this card's pretty cool if another non-token creature you control dies you may re reveal cards to the top of your library until you reveal a creature put that card in your hand the rest on the bottom of your library that is kiora the rising tide Cure is pretty cool. Cure is pretty good. Asher and Animist again, and our last card of the break is Cure again. Cure yeah. the Rising Tide, number two. There we go. Uh, that was the last pack of the break. Thanks everyone for buying in. Um, Appreciate it as always. I'm excited for a few more of these. Oh yeah. Sock guys. I forgot your mouse died.